but thankfully, none of them are expected to hit our area. That's right. Several storms that we're watching right now. One area that could develop over time. We actually have a newly formed storm. This is Tropical Storm Nigel. This was Tropical Depression 15, something we've already been talking about, but now it is a tropical storm, 40 mile per hour winds. The good news is, like Shimani said, not expecting any impacts from any of these systems over the next several days. So here's the latest track on Tropical Storm Nigel, 40 mile per hour winds moving off to the northwest, 16 miles per hour, eventually straight strengthening into a category one hurricane by Monday and become a category two hurricane by the middle of this week. But again, look at this expected to stay off the east coast of the United States. Something to watch over time. Again, this isn't set in stone, but right now forecast models and the track from the National Hurricane Center keep this away from the east coast of the United States. Also tracking post tropical Lee 60 mile per hour winds made landfall over western Nova Scotia earlier, moved back over water now expected to make landfall over New Brunswick here in the next hour or so. 60 mile per hour winds and as this is the 10 p.m. advisory next track will come out at 4 a.m. But not much will change with this track is expected to quickly move off to the northeast and weaken over time as it pushes back out into the Atlantic impact still going to be felt over portions of the Canadian Maritimes. Of course, still tracking tropical storm Margo that's going to continue to linger out in the Atlantic and weaken over time. No impacts to our stretch of the Gulf Coast and of course that tropical wave low chance of development.